Well, first of all, allow me to say that Mr. Nathan Lau in front of you is not a pro-democracy activist. He's a fugitive from the law of Hong Kong. And if he goes back, he will be prosecuted and most likely he will be convicted too. Now, he talked about demonstrations or protests peaceful. Use your own eye to see where is the peacefulness of the demonstrations. There was violence everywhere in the streets of Hong Kong. There was a storming of the Lechco building. There was disruption of social order in Hong Kong. If you call that peaceful demonstration, you are losing your mind. You are losing your sight. You are losing your wisdom. What happened in Hong Kong could be compared with the storming of the U.S. Capitol on January the 6th. And the U.S. government has rightfully labeled that as domestic terrorism. Nathan, well, I just, if you just, just, what just, you just hang on a minute there, Victor Gabby. You're throwing, all sorts, of, you you're throwing all sorts of accusations around there. But the comparison there was there were protesters that invaded the capital and tried to overthrow an election. You are comparing that to 70-something, 80-something-year-old barristers and legislators, elected legislators, who have just been thrown in jail. And they certainly haven't been accused of doing any violence whatsoever. No. I think what they have been convicted under was not under the national security law. They have been convicted under existing laws in Hong Kong. They may be charged by the national security law separately, but that's another matter. Now, you may know for sure, you may know better than I do, Hong Kong has deeply rooted traditions of rule of law, many of which were actually left by the British before they left Hong Kong in 1997. Now, Hong Kong should promote greater democracy. There is no doubt about it. Democracy everywhere in the world could be better improved and better promoted. Well, not by but you throwing people in jail by the protest. Do that. No, you cannot do violence. You cannot do illegal, illegal, unlawful demonstrations in Hong Kong. And this is true today. This was true under the British in 1997 and before. You can't Let's blame the British for this. this. There was promises were made in 1997 that for 50 years, Hong Kongers would live under the same social and economic settlement. Where is that promise, that one country, two systems? Exactly. It's gone now, isn't it? You mentioned uh, whether one country, two system is dead. Let me assure you, one country, two system is live and thriving, and it will be continued up to 2047, and if the situation prevails, it may even be extended beyond 2047. Anyone who believes that one country, two system is dead in Hong Kong, again, you are indulging your own imagination. Hong Kong people do not need to fear about arson, anarchy, violence. That's the fear that troubles everyone in Hong Kong. Well, and democracy, if you want to promote democracy, use peaceful means rather than well, commit violence or incite violence. And